The integrated support star can be used for planning, problem solving or exploring. And so on this one, I'm gonna kind of talk to you about the planning way to use it. And when we start working with people, um, a lot of times what I like to do is I always say, I like to start mapping and I, I'll sit down with a person and either I put their name here or I put the key issue that I'm working on. So if I'm working on, I wanna get a job or maybe I just met this person and, and I wanna just put their name in here. And so I just really wanna start kind of mapping out what, what they currently tap into. So, so let's talk about um, um, getting a job. So if I've got job in the middle of this, um, what we sometimes do is we split the star. And by splitting the star, what we st star, what we start doing is, is help me understand what you have now. And we kind of say, who's in your life that can help you think about your job? What types of services are you already currently using? Where do you currently go in the community that you like to go and maybe volunteer or just places you like to hang out? How are you currently using technology? Sort of what strengths and assets and different things do you like about employment? And then after we go around and we do that, what we start to do is, is we say, but then what else do we need to work on? What else becomes the thing that we need to identify that's going to help you have a job? And we go around and we really start saying, um, you know, I might need to um, call my uncle who owns the clock shop that I want to work at. I might need to call some employers and talk to them about this. I might need to get some technology to help me. And so when we start doing that is, is it starts helping us begin planning and identifying activities and setting goals.